Hello friends, today we will discuss about the SCR static characteristic. SCR is also called as a thyristors. It has three terminal device, one is cathode, one is anode and one is gate. So when SCR is conduct, the current will be flow from the anode to cathode when gate is turned on by some triggering pulse. So this characteristic is the current is the y axis and voltage in the Excesses. So here we can see the origin point is there. So when the anode is positive and cathode is negative, it means that this is the forward blocking mode. So this time very less forward leakage current is flow in the SCR. So it will go up to here and this is called as a forward blocking, blocking over voltage mode. Similarly, in reverse bias condition, when anode is negative and cathode is positive, so what happened? The reverse leakage current flow in the negative side. So this is called the this current is very less, and this is called the reverse leakage current. Then, if we increase the reverse bias curve voltage, then Jenner effect will be there, and avalanche breakdown will be take place. So suddenly, current will be fl flow in the disrupted of SCR material. So now we will see when we apply the gate current here, so suddenly the current will start to flow and it will be reach rises like this. So this is the point where gate is increases. So we can say this is the IG1 and IG2. So this point. So when IG1 gate current is more than the gate current 2, so the current will reach up to the maximum value. So there is a two points are there. One is IL and one is IH. I is the holding current. It defined as the uh, below below this current anode current. The thyristor will be turned off and latching current is the required amount of anode current to turn on the process. So this is all about the static characteristic of SCR. Thank you very much.